Tarash Defense, 2 Knights, Rubinstein, Prague Variation, 7.BG2CXD48.NXD4. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 square. The conflict for the e4 square is started with nc3, which controls d5. On the queen's side, c5 occupies a space and has influence over d4. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. This exchange is fair. Takes back. This threatens to kick a knight. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. Fianchetto move bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing knight. It is the last book move. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is quite good. A knight is pinned as a result, which limits its movement. It is ideal. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Backs off. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a threat to an open file and a rook. That's good. This develops a bishop off its starting square getting it into the action. It is best. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is quite good. There was just one smart move to be made. This disregards a superior method for strengthening a knight who is weak. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The pawn is now adequately defended. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. It is a great move. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. 
This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. This prevents the adversary from building a passed pawn. It is ideal. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This blocks the attack on a queen that could have been captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.